This is a Skull Carlers present Crutch, a Halloween short film. I am Carrie Thomas Cody. And I am Orin Ponkilla. We're going to pause this with scenes, tell you what we did, our process, and all that. So, let's go. That is my uh, front yard at Halloween. Just That's just how it is on Halloween. Naturally purple at all times. Those are my crutches and my uh, boot from when I actually broke my leg. I just broke my leg. Hey man, it wasn't me who broke your leg. Just come as like Tiny Tim or the kid from Breaking Bad or something. I don't know, man. How many iterations of that joke did we go through? So, um, yeah, probably a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, what people remember the kid from Breaking Bad if I wrote that in? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's probably, but definitely one of my favorite parts of the script. So, like, hey, where's that kid from Breaking Bad? So. Whatever, dude. This hot chick invited me and said we're going to play with the Ouija board. I'll ask you if it can give you a new leg or something. All right. All right. Also, uh, continuity is very hard. Uh, this was our first our first one together, <laughs> so my arm is everywhere. Uh, hopefully, they didn't notice, you guys didn't notice it the first time you watched it, but yeah, it was hard. Like, I, I don't know, I didn't even think about, like, oh, you have to sit in the exact same way <laughs> no matter how many times you do the take. Also, <laughs> I don't know if you can notice, you can see the microphone wire in his pocket. Hey, this man. This is a fun little detail. <laughs> the clip from the movie that we're watching um, is from a 1950s movie called Lights Out, and uh, not actually from Evil Dead 2 because we couldn't use that. <laughs> um, but it was, uh, yeah, a public domain, so we didn't have to get any permission, and it's not going to get taken off of the internet or anything like that. shot. <laughs> Mikey was so proud of the shot, she used her, uh, her her really nice lens just to get my eyelashes. And she was so proud of it, which I think it looks great, you know, I'm flexing my eyelashes in here. Um, <laughs> hey, dude, you're mixing out. I am super drunk right now, and I'm about to make out with a sexy beetle, dude, which is kind of what so I wanted. I think wanted. for this, my favorite bit is we wanted to get party noises while I'm calling you. <laughs> so I recorded an actual message in my phone, mm -hmm. voicemail, and we just had his TV playing super loud, like generic party noise. And I had the phone and me like right next to the speaker yelling while music's playing. Yeah. That's probably like my favorite like little yeah production trick or whatever. Yeah, but it also sounds terrible. It, so yeah, you can barely hear the music. Maybe we would have added the party noise in post or something next time. Yeah. So the kitchen shot, um, I've got one of those those cheap uh, light changing or the color changing light bulbs, and uh, we put it on just on the wall. The bat on the on the wall is supposed to like be that inspired or that motivated light for, to light the room, which obviously is not near bright enough to light anything really, other than just be there on the wall. But I thought it was a cool contrast to the blue in the living room. Um, I think it looks really cool. The conversation with the Ouija board got a little out of hand. That's my bad. You know, I went from wisdom, whatever. Anyways, uh, have a good night, dude. Happy Halloween. Thanks for dooming my soul, Ayo. All right, so this is the coolest shot in the short. Let's introduce you to our creature. There we are. This is a called a Tomb Breaker. This was at Walmart particularly. Orin and I went and shopped for props. We wanted to find some spooky looking ghost thing. Um, and we also added the spooky cloth o over it to make it look a little less cheap. Um, we also got it on a hanger on an old broomstick. But yeah, this is it. It's real simple. Um, this whole thing was $15. The spooky cloth was a dollar a piece. I think there's two on there. And it's just so subtle enough on the screen that you can't tell that it's a puppet or you can't tell that it's I don't know that a cheap Halloween prop so pretty excited about that this took a while to nail the, yeah um, so I, I don't know if we actually used any sound here because I feel like Sarah my wife she was telling Orin when to pull back mm -hmm. um, which does help because I did this movement you know a bunch of times and I did it the exact same speed and so it was easy to, um, for Orin to know exactly, like, 
when to put it out and pull it pull it back in, um, especially when somebody's like, okay, pull, and then back out. And so it's you know it's supposed to be me like barely seeing something you know or yeah. not seeing it at all, and I feel like that worked perfectly. I had to put that pizza in and out of my mouth about a, I don't know twenty five times or something. And you actually ate a slice. I, I don't know. know. I was just, <laughs> yeah, at some point I just got hungry, so I'm just gonna take a slice. Maybe they won't notice. I'll take a bite, and uh, I did, and then I got in trouble for it. <laughs> our Evil Dead inspired yeah. shot. Um, if we would have done it back over again, I would have lit maybe like one of the bedrooms in the back to just kind of show some more depth because that shot is so dark. Um, after we leave the living room, it's really hard to like see like anything in the hallway. <laughs> Phones are great practical lights. Um, I had my phone screen on just like a blank white uh, background that I got on Google. And when I opened it up, it was already set to that and the brightness all the way up so you can see this, the light projected onto me when I turn the flashlight on. Right before that, you see the dark, the dark bathroom. We just used candles for that. We probably had, I don't know, like seven or eight of those little... Um, tea lights. Tea yeah. lights. And yeah. We thought that it would light it a lot better, but the noise is just very distracting. It was a bummer. We should have had just like a fill light or something. Mm. Also, you guys, acting is hard. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> acting scared is the hardest thing. Uh, I mean, maybe not. I don't know. I've only acted scared in my shorts, but uh, gosh dang. Like the amount of times I had to like psych myself up and like, okay, you gotta look and act scared. It's hard. So we filmed the the puppet yeah. hiding down a couple of times. Um, I was in the bathtub, curtain drawn, just me behind, pulling it down. I ended up falling in the bathtub once while doing it. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that was fun, just like having that. Because I don't know if it's, it's in that shot, but it's like hands are peeking over the oh, in there, curtain yeah. rod and like peeks down. Yeah. Like just the fluid motion of it. Is my favorite thing yeah, about we, that. Somehow part. we pulled it off. Yeah. I don't know how we did it, but it looked great. And so I think the secret is is show less of your monster, especially yeah. with low budget, no budget filmmaking. Um, show as little as you can get away with, um, because like yeah, if we showed it a little bit longer, it would have been just like yeah. a puppet just sitting still. Yeah, you could tell. It's yeah, puppet. yeah. But if you show it just just blurry enough and just like the right moment. Um, it works out perfectly. Yeah. And we did have a lot of different ideas for how we wanted to do that last jump scare. Like, initially, I thought it'd be cool if I was, like, leaning up against the the curtain and then, like, the curtain closed in around me. Oh, and we just, yeah. we just couldn't nail it. And then we tried to have the creature coming in from the side as well. Didn't work. Um, so that last shot, we just kind of came up with, um, in the moment, a little yeah. problem solving. And it worked out perfectly. It's uh, pretty spooky. I'm pretty proud of that one as well. Fun fact, um, my milk and a lot of my food in my fridge went bad that night because the fridge was, door was open for like three hours. <laughs> this is just on loop. I think it's super rad. Yeah. One of my favorite parts of this. Font looks great. Oh, I bought my font online. Uh, I think it's like DeviantArt or something like that. Oh, and I wanted to have that, uh, like that VHS uh, tape look mm. on my TV because that looked rad. Yeah. Um, and that was just like a YouTube video that we just had playing over and over again just to kind of get that cool look. So, yeah. Anything else? Uh, no, I just, just blast to make. We made it in... How many nights did we shoot? Uh, it was two nights. Two the nights. The second night, yeah, we were awake for a long time. Yeah. And I feel like I had to work super early that next morning, so it was... Yeah. It sucked, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Other than that, um, edited on... Premiere Pro, and all the sound design from Artlist. This whole thing didn't take us very long to make, um, but it was still a whole lot of fun. We just edited it on my, in my living room mm -hmm. um, over the course of just a couple days. 
And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Skullcrawlers, out. <laughs>